All right, we're sitting here in late July looking at um, timing our fungicide insecticide application. So that's one thing a lot of guys are, are doing this time of year. In these soybean fields, we've, we've pulled a few plants from different planting dates just to evaluate what stage that crop is in. And we've clipped off the petioles here to make it a little easier to see um, not only the staging, but we can count the nodes and look at some of the pod set. Um, on these different treatments. So in this um, soybean staging, we're gonna count the top four nodes with the fully developed leaf. So again, we've cut those off, but if we count the top four, um, usually that fourth node down is gonna have your most mature pod. Sometimes it's the third or second, um, but here we don't have any pods. We do have flowers all the way to the top. So that puts us at R2. That's the front of the window to spray our fungicide insecticide pass. If we move to um, a earlier planting date, this one was planted May 21st, a 3-5 bean. Um, if we move to our May 8th planting date, here we've got the same maturity. We count down four nodes and we do have a pod that's 3 16 of an inch um, at that fourth node down. So this is gonna be an R3 soybean. This is kind of that optimum window to spray our fungicides. Um, as we go further, we look at our earliest planting date. And now when we count those top four nodes um, with a fully developed leaf, now we're in full R4, um, almost into R5 with this April 15th planting date. So these are all the same maturity, but we realize that as we shift our planting dates around, um, you know, we move that crop along. The other big thing to notice here is as we compare our earliest planting date with our latest planting date, is how many pods we have on this soybean plant um, that are fully developed. Um, when we think about pod abortion in a bean, we know that can be up to 60, 70%. Uh, but with early planting, one of the goals is to get these pods set early so we can hold on to them to not abort because once we get a pod that's more than three quarters of an inch at any point any node on this plant it's going to be fairly stable compared to these small um, quarter inch pod or less those are going to be the first ones to abort anytime we get stress so if we think about a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush this bean has a lot of potential yet but we've already got these pods loaded on this, this early planted bean. And, and that's where a lot of our yield stability and our consistent results um, with early planting beans comes from, is getting those beans to flower early June before the solstice, get those pods to set, and then hold on to the rest of the season.